how many of you have read at least one novel by Jane Austen? Okay, most of you. Uh, how many of you um, read Pride and Prejudice? How many of you read Emma? How many of you read something different? Okay, like four of you, fine. It's good, good job. Um, I'm gonna talk about mostly um, Pride and Prejudice and Emma just for accessibility's sake. Um, but in my presentation, I do talk about everything. Um, so, it's easy for people unfamiliar with Austen to assume her novels are tame stories of tea visits and marriages that meekly conform to the woman's societal standards of the day, especially because, on the surface, they do detail balls and visits, are notably lacking in wars and political issues, and all end with engagements that, given Austen's own spinster spinsterhood, seem almost idealized. However, though Austen does accurately portray what it's like to be a woman during her time, she doesn't limit herself to the view of women held during her day, but rather makes her Regency audience aware of the inequality in her society by forcing readers into experiencing life as a woman in her time, which she affects through the way we gain in 